it's going to be slower because you've, dra you've dragged it out almost time stretched it there you go so that's going around a lot slower now let me just change it around however you want you can go right click properties and you can change the motion uh, different paths of it there's lots of different parameters in there that you can change so but at the minute I think well I'm not quite happy with that so well uh, it could be lined up a bit higher so I'll just knock it up a bit preview it again that looks better okay now as with my actual version I've got this linked up to the Nozzle Recordings website so what we do to that is now it's highlighted still you want to add script events button and we're going to if you on if you press it we want it to go to the website so if we add a script again browser network get URL and it'll change it to red now this red means it's incomplete so we've got to type in there http colon uh, forward slash forward slash then you put your www.nozzlerecordings.com if you put that in now once we hit enter if you can see the red will change when it does change to that it means that your hyperlink should be successful so if we go preview again again this makes it all all your workspace live if we click that it should open up the internet to the Nozzle Recordings website there it is Nozzle Recordings and that's loading up there I don't know why it's a bit slow but it's it's loading up so we'll stop the preview and now we're going to add in what else have I got in Okay, we've got the live scratch stream, so that's you can do that the same um, same way as as our logo. Well, <laughs> you can do that as well. And what I, what that is is if I go across Lone Wolf, the, the text, it can set off a sound. So in this case. It does that, so you can do all you can do all sorts really. And it all relates to um, actions for the buttons. So whether you want to do roll over a button, or press the button, or release the button, drag on or drag off. Um, yeah, you can uh, link lots of different actions to the buttons. So we're gonna add in some text so you just click the text box here click and drag oh, and that's come because that's the one, last one I had in that's the last writing I've done but if you want to change the text there you can come up with this right hand side highlight and we'll put we'll just put uh, uh, we'll just put normal scratch stream there you go it changes In fact, we'll change it. We'll change it back to live scratch stream. There you go. So that's what we have. And if you go enter, oh, maybe don't go enter. Control Z takes that back. And there's our text. So in the same way as we did with this one, you can add an effect. If you go right click again, effect, and you can choose an effect for it. I didn't put one on mine because. I don't know, I'd, I'd, I think if there's too much effect on your whole loop, well, I think it takes away from it a bit. So if you just have little subtle effects here and there, I think it just gives a bit of movement to it and uh, I think it looks good. But you can have all sorts in there. And again, you can change the parameters of each one by right-clicking in the uh, on the effect in the timeline. So we've done that. And again, you can hyperlink that to the scratch stream. So add script and it's always create the buttons events add, maybe these frame and the self do similar things but again I just I just know um, that if you create your button and you create an action for the button uh, that works for what I need it so yes
that's what you do. So in this case, we're going to do if you click on it or so button on press, we want it to take us to the internet again. So you would do you've created your button on uh, or you create your action to your button, sorry, on press, and we want to now link the action to that press. So the next one, add script, browser network, get URL, which is what we did last time. It's in red, so you know that's not completed. Click in the URL there, and then this time we'll put www. Oh, you've got to put http colon forward slash forward slash. If you don't have that in, it didn't seem to work with for me last time, so I'd probably advise to keep that in. www.nozzlerecordings.com forward slash scratch dash scream string scream. Stream, scratch stream. There you go. And that there, and if we press enter, again that will change from red to blue. And that will work now. So if you preview it, every time you've done a little change, it's best to preview so you always keep finding that you're going to keep going back to the top to play the movie. So there you go, we've got the movement on that one. If we press this. Uh, and that should load up, there you go, and that's loading up the scratch stream. Now this panel on the side here is all your different layers, it's a bit like Photoshop, you have layers. So the further down the list you go, the further back that item is in the layer stakes, so, so to speak. So as you can see we've got the nozzle is on top of the background image, which it is there because it's higher. Yes. Now, if we stop that, again, if you ch if you're going to ch make a change to the workspace, always stop the preview, or else that'll keep going on. It'll keep it'll keep sort of pre-rendering it. It gets, it gets pretty annoying. So always remember to stop that up there first. Now, there's two items. You can have different. You can you can use that same process to apply to another 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 sort of logo there you could have I think I've got I've got Twitter on mine uh, Twitter links and uh, yes so you can have whatever you want so to create the actual loops themselves we're going to add in we're going to go back to our pre-prepared folder and I add some uh, kanji symbols so just pick up I'll put I'll put maybe two or three in put one in put two in line them up 